Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about pathologic calcification. Pathologic calcification is the abnormal deposition of calcium along with a small amount of iron, magnesium and other mineral salts. It occurs in two circumstances, that means it is of two types in broad heading. One is dystopic calcification that occurs in the previously damaged tissue. Another is metastatic calcification that is always associated with hypercalcemia. Dystopic calcification occurs in previously damaged tissues like necrosis tissue, all type of necrosis like caseous necrosis and tuberculosis, coalitive necrosis in the solid organs, liquefactive necrosis in the brain or in the abscess and also in the fat necrosis. Okay. So old caseous necrosis of tuberculosis in the lung mostly along the hilar area of the lung, old infraction, scarred heart bulbs, old collection of pulse, dead parasite and old thrombi. So these are the location of dystrophic calcification. Formation of calculi around the dead cells of the duct is a variation of dystrophic calcification like the gallbladder, biliary tree or the stone in the salivary duct. Normal serum calcium and phosphate in dystrophic calcification. So there is no hypercalcemia or hyperphosphatemia in dystrophic calcification. It occurs in the damaged tissue, previously damaged tissue. Okay. So dystrophic calcification in tissues undergoing slow degeneration, also in the damaged tissue or something is going through slow degeneration, calcification in the tumor atherosclerotic changes that is going slowly but in case of KGS necrosis it, it goes rapidly rapid calcification in the artery wall there will be dystrophic calcification with slow degeneration the mechanism of dystrophic calcification for both this both the necrosis tissue as well as the the tissue undergoing slow degeneration the mechanism is this necrosis or degeneration of tissue release of enzyme breakdown of organic phosphate alteration of ph that is the negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration and deposition of calcium radio opaque hyla lymph node may indicate tb in chest x-ray Mammogram of the breast may reveal calcification in breast cancer. Calcification in chronic pancreatitis. Periventricular calcification in cytomegalovirus infection. Periventricular calcification along the lateral ventricle or third ventricle of the brain. The, it may be related to cytomegalovirus infection. Okay, here are examples of dystrophic calcification in the aortic valve. This is semilunar valve. Aortic valve guards the beginning of the ascending aorta from the left ventricle. So we have calcification there. Calcification. Okay. So then the, there will be aortic stenosis. This valve will be stenosed. So there will be stenosis here because of thickening of the wall here calcification is calcification so the semilunar cusps are thickened and fibrotic and behind each cusp are irregular masses of piled up dystrophic calcification okay we got calcification piled up dystrophic calcification we also get shamuma body in certain situation in dystrophic calcification what happened here? Single necrotic cell may constitute seed crystals 
that may be encrusted by mineral deposits and progressive deposition of lamellated layers called shemoma bodies, also called grains of sand. Shemoma bodies are found in papillary carcinoma of the thyroid gland as well as in the meaning geoma. Okay, so it also it present in other t other organs pathology, but these are very common papillary carcinoma of the thyroid gland and the meningioma. So this is the meninges and this is the meningioma. If you do the histopathology, we'll get this shemoma bodies. Shemoma bodies will found here. Okay, that is tissue scap is taken from here. Okay, got that. Shemoma body is a sign of dystrophic calcification. Okay, so here papillary carcinoma of the thyroid gland. This is the thyroid gland here. Okay, here is the shemoma bodies. This is the focus of dead tissue. Surrounding it, we have lamella of the calcification and other tissues other cells and the calcium deposition forms the shemoma bodies in concentric layer okay dystopic calcification another example is calcification due to chronic pancreatitis pancreatic tissue is damaged okay and calcium will be deposited here okay that is an example of dystopic calcification here is also another one. These are the calcification. Okay. Here is this metastatic calcification. There is an increase in blood calcium or phosphate. Excess phosphate drives calcium into normal tissue. Four usual mechanisms parathyroid hyperactivity. Okay, it may be the two. Stimulation of the parathyroid gland or due to the parathyroid adenoma, vitamin D overdoses, resorption of bone by metastasis of cancer, some type of cancer like blood cancer or multiple myeloma or some other bone disease like Paget's disease, renal failure. These are the four usual mechanisms. Parathyroid operativity due to adenoma of the parathyroid gland. This is a, this is a benign tumor. Hyperplasia of the parathyroid gland secondary to metabolic acidosis that is, in, that is associated chronic renal failure. Mobilization of the calcium from the bone, increased absorption of calcium from the intestine in hypervitaminosis D, milk alkali syndrome that happens person taking antacids and milk, okay, that may increase the absorption of calcium and that may lead to hypercalcemia mobilization of the calcium from the bone also cause hypercalcemia and alkaline environment fibers calcification and it may be deposited calcium may be deposited in the kidney arteries lung as well as in the stomach about five percent cancers are associated with hypercalcemia notably the breast cancer, osteolytic tumors, and lung cancers. Okay, so hypercalcemia, how they do it? Actually, the cancer cell releases a substance, a protein substance that resembles the parathyroid hormone that will stimulate the hypercalcemia. Okay. So that's all about the pathologic calcification. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends. Please support my channel. Please subscribe me. Have a nice, wonderful and blessed day. Bye now.